And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. MLB The Show brings you the National League Championship Series. The Atlanta Braves taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. With Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. And as we get set for Game 5, Chris, it seems like this series could still have a few twists and turns in it. Well, being down three games to one, calling it a do-or-die game is no exaggeration, but these situations tell us a lot about a team's character, and for some teams, it brings out their absolute best, but for others, it can kind of prove to be an overwhelming scenario to face, and so we'll see how they show up here today. And we'll also get to see what kind of killer instinct they have on the other side. Some teams can get a little too relaxed when they're so comfortably in the driver's seat. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. And welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. Here's the veteran shortstop, King Tejada. This is a true five-tool guy. Not very many of them out there, but when he's on the field, you can't take your eye off of him. Bounce to third. Gets it to first. One out in the second. How you lead. Getting ready to hit. Shortstop. How you lead. Slow roller up the middle. Tahada. On to first, and there's two down. Good late bite on that slider. Got the hitter out in front, rolled over on it. Exactly what he was supposed to do. And now it's Alec Bohm. He popped out his first time. And the right-hander deals. On the ground to the left. The throw to first, and that is that. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. But they're on top, one nothing. And the batter will be the shortstop, King Tejada. First time up, he grounded to third. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. And that's ripped for a base hit. Verdugo quickly throws it in. And the stop sign goes up at third on the potential tying run. First pitch swing in, went up there with the plan to be aggressive. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And next for Atlanta, Jacob Melton. For keeping him close. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a goal. Oh, and he got him this time. So digging in now for Philadelphia, number 82. Glide out his first time. Here's a 1-1. -one. Out to short, Tejada. Fires across the diamond, inning over. So one hit is all they get. We're through five. It's the Phillies one and the Braves nothing. Alec Bohm stands in for the Phillies. Alec Bohm. One down, base is empty. On the ground is short, and he can't come up with it. Back here, Citizens Bank Park, top of inning number seven. Now the Atlanta cleanup hitter, King Tejada. A lot of times you're looking for a guy to get that tie and run on base, but because of the power, you want him to tie up the game with one swing here. Pitch misses there, and it's one to no. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. There's a line drive to left field. Can't get there. Should be extra bases. 
to second. Say, close play, but he got in under the tag. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. So now to the plate for Atlanta, Jacob Melton. Runner leads away at second. Runner takes off for third. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. No outs. Runner on second. Hey, come on now, big dog. Get the guard. Here's going. the pitch. Runner goes again. Got him swinging. Throw to third. He's safe. Daniel Stubbs, the next to hit. Daniel Don't be surprised to ball on the ground to the corners that they come home with the baseball instead of going to first base. Activity in the bullpen. Jaime Berea warming up for manager Kevin Cash. Ferguson, a left-hander, also throwing. Come on, big guy, get this, huh? Swings and misses, and we're filled up. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. 3-2. Got him swinging. Well, this is where the team aspect really comes into play on the offensive side of the game, right? I mean, missed opportunity to tie it up with the runner in third and one out. Couldn't put the ball in play. So now it's time to pick him up. And that's where good team... Ah, he locked him up. And that'll do it. The inning is over. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the Phillies one and the Braves nothing. Here's the center fielder, Justin center Crawford. Fielder, number two, Justin Crawford. Double play ball to second. Flips it for one. A sensational double play. Now that one. Really nice time. double play turn right there. And it all started with that sweet glove flip on the feed to second. You know, these middle infielders. They spend a lot of time honing that glove work, so it just becomes like second nature. I think you also have to have a really good glove that's broken in, that's not too large, so that you can have a few. Back here in Philadelphia, ready for the bottom of the eighth. Here's the Phillies catcher, number 82. Line drive. Oh, he gloves it. Wow, that was an awesome leaping catch. Great reactions. Great athleticism, and he snatched that thing out. Here's the shortstop at the play. King Tejada. Now, this guy, a player that, if he gets on base, has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base paths. Hey, get a good one. Get a good piece on it, huh? Let's go. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Next offering is fouled back. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Line drive, base hit. Well, that was an important at bat in this game, so great job there, stepping up to the challenge. Really protecting with two strikes right there. Pitch wasn't even close, but man, he got the barrel to it somehow. Nice job of bad ball hitting. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Stepping in, Jacob Melton. Swings and misses, struck him out. Just a mid-90s challenge fastball right there, not much to it. And I'm sure he'd love another swing at it because 
It was in a very hittable location. Those are the swings where you can sometimes start to question yourself as a hitter and say, how did I miss that? But you know what happens. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. Throw to second. Great jump. And that is a stolen base. It wasn't even close. Well, in the postseason, I'd say we see more teams playing for one run, trying to apply some pressure. And that's exactly the case right here. Speed on the bases, put him in motion, and it worked out. Now time to execute in the batter's box. Check on the runner, and he's back in safely. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. And now it's Vidal Brujan. Well, both sides equally as strong, so not a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate. Strike two. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. And a pitch. Good eye right there. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Rondell Davis on deck for Atlanta. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A-B going. One out. The go-ahead run is at second. Gets a piece and stays alive. The pitch. And a swing and a miss. And there's two away. Nice work there to get the strikeout. And that's a big second out. I'll tell you, this home crowd will be fired up. They can get out of this and leave that go-ahead run stranded in scoring position. This is a big moment in this game. He steps on the bag. They miss a big chance to take the lead here late. So they strand a pair. Onto the bottom of inning number nine. Four, five, six, coming up. All tied, 1-1. One, one. Welcome back. We head to the bottom of the ninth. Now it's the right fielder, Bryce Harper. Bounced out to short. Harper retired. Good arm side run and sink on that pitch right there. Oh, got inside on him and got him to bounce into that out. Justin. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. Runner on the goal. On the ground, right side. Diving, and he can't make the play. And they'll have runners at the corners after a one-out single. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Just a simple ground ball the other way that had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel. Put the ball in play. 4-1 the final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long.